Well, here's the pictures. Portland police declared a riot last night of a, because of unrest downtown. Hundreds blocked streets near the Justice Center, then started firing off commercial grade fireworks. Police say the group broke into the north side doors of the Justice Center, then started throwing rocks and bottles at officers. Federal authorities took one man into custody. 24 year old Kiefer Allen Moore is accused of causing destruction at the Hatfield Federal Courthouse building. Portland police arrested eight others. Officers used munitions to break up the crowd tonight. There are questions about the musicians that were deployed. Portland police say they didn't use tear gas, but protesters say someone did. Jacqueline Abad digging deeper into this. She joins us live with more. What did you find out, Jacqueline? Well, Jeff, like you mentioned, Portland police say they did not use CS gas last night as things escalated outside of the federal courthouse. But I did speak with one woman who could see and smell the tear gas last night when she was out here, but she doesn't know who used it. You can see it in the air and you can hear people cough. I don't have a gas mask, so I'm going to run. But that is tear gas. <laughs> Protesters say tear gas was used last night outside the federal courthouse, and those on the ground say it didn't look like it came from Portland police. The biggest incident was outside the federal courthouse when there was uh, there was some type of law enforcement in way more like military style gear. There was like um, camo, um, uh, and they used what tasted to me like CS gas. Portland police say federal officers were at the federal courthouse to protect the integrity of the building. <laughs> Earlier this week, the Department of Homeland Security announced a task force would be deployed to protect historic monuments, statues, and federal facilities ahead of the 4th of July. So I reached out to see if those federal officers were a part of that deployment. CS gas is being used, from the area. You'll remember, a judge extended the order that limits Portland Police's use of tear gas until July 24th. But tear gas can be used if lives or safety of the public or police are at risk. Move to the east now. Disperse. And on Tuesday night, Portland Police used CS gas to disperse the crowd after they declared a riot near the Portland Police Association building. Today, Governor Brown is urging Portland police to de-escalate confrontations with a small group of violent protesters. In a statement sent to our media partners over at the Portland Tribune, she said, I strongly urge the city of Portland to be proactive in using the strategies focused on de-escalation and dialogue in order to prevent and avoid this senseless cycle of violence. Now, I did get a chance to look back at that judge's order, and it only limits Portland Police's use of tear gas, but it doesn't say anything about federal officers using tear gas. I did get a chance to reach out to federal agencies to see if they used tear gas last night, but I'm still waiting to hear back. Reporting live in downtown Portland, Jacqueline Abad, Quinn 6 News. Jacqueline, thank you.